Hi, my name is Julian Wood. I'm a deputy head from a primary school in Sheffield, and uh, my presentation is called the Trojan Mouse. Um, the Trojan Mouse basically means that uh, learning ICT by stealth, and I, I can't in my Y2 class because that's what I teach uh, the seven and eight year olds. I, I can't teach ICT by saying, right, we're going to teach ICT today. I have to kind of do it through other subjects and topics, and um, all the things that I'm going to show you today are all very simple and um, they are the produ products of uh, many weeks of training with the children um, and, and mistakes and um, to go with the, the famous saying and Sheffield wasn't built in a day um, so uh, please don't think that I can just do these overnight and that's certainly not one lesson in things. So, I can I call it the Trojan Mouse, or if we can do it in Y2, so can you. Don't worry about anything, all these links are going to be at the end. So, QR codes. Um, I'm pretty famous for using QR codes, I won the Microsoft Learning Innovator Award for them, um, but they're kind of fairly boring. Uh, kids love them anyway, because they are used uh, with mobile devices, which are great, which kids don't get to use. And um, also the reveal is fabulous. Kids look at them and they don't know what they are until they use them on a device to re reveal them. And there's a great surprise. Um, but there are other tag readers. For example, Microsoft Tag uses colour. Um, but things have moved on to these basic versions. And I kind of, here's a, again, QR code, my image in the middle, um, and colourful. But again, I don't think it goes as far as what the Microsoft tag can do. But actually, the tag becomes the picture, and the picture becomes the tag. So I was thinking what I could do with these, and I was doing a unit of work on instruction or writing, and then we decided to get the kids to make these board games with Microsoft tags. And this is what my lower ability kids did. This is a template I made, but they made the tags and they did all the um, instructions. So that's what happens. Fabulous. Um, and again, great bit of work from those guys. Fantastic customization. Here's my top lot. We were doing a presentation, or sorry, topic on uh, our cow Molly, which is a dairy farm in Sheffield that produces its own yogurt and milk. And uh, we did this. And they turned it into a board games that were no longer board games, uh, they were interactive with mobile phones. Monsters. We've done some work on monsters, and I use a lot of generators. Generators are um, free online um, generators that generate their own kind of content. Um, so basically, this is a monster generator. You you click on the options, and it produces fantastic things. We produce here the gigantic squawking sewer dwelling yeti. So after that, you would the kids would uh, draw pictures, uh, and then and then brainstorm descriptions. It's just a fabulous, fabulous start for brainstorming. And then I'd put this into a giant battle monsters. And this is a generator that generates a fight between two monsters that you can actually you get to name one of them. Um, and then it, what it does is it's fabulous. It produces, as you can see here, um, some uh, amazing um, stats that we've used in maths, some fantastic description. And the fabulous thing about genera generators is the fact that um, it, it's it's fabulous for kids who, who can't write, who, who, who lose um, the, the will to live when asked to write stuff, and this does it for them, and, and it, it it creates an imaginary world for them. And then you know I work with kids who are from very deprived backgrounds who have a positive li literacy because they don't ever get read to at home, and and if, and if they do, it's not very long. And they haven't got the background of, of, of literacy and the background of imagination that, that most of other kids have. So this sort of thing's fabulous. We then started talking about pets, and and um, basically, I we we were bored with, with 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 dogs and cats and hamsters, so we we decided to keep Pokemon. And this is a Pokemon generator. It generates a whole stable of po real life Pokemon. And again, um. The kids did this all on their own and fantastic description work, uh, artwork from it. 
And they also produced a trainer card which had the, all their Pokemon in it, had their name on it, this is mine and that's my trainer. Uh, and it had all the symbols and they were used to uh, for content creation again and for bigger pieces of work and writing. Um, also, the, this is fantastic. So we, we went from nicking the real Pokemon to designing our own Pokemon. This is Pokemon Fusion. It takes two real Pokemon and creates their own. And basically, we, we took this with the kids and they created their own world of Pokemon and created their very own Pokemon. And again, the thing is with this is that the fact is it's given ownership to the children. The children are hooked because they've created it, they've got ownership of it, and they're more enthusiastic about writing about things that they've created. What they don't realise is that they really haven't created it, it's the generator that's done all the work. And that's the beauty of generators. And finally, I'd like to show you the uh, what's my pokey name. And basically, you type in your, your real name and it comes up with your pokey name. And again, this is great because rather than start from the picture, we're starting from the, uh, the word. And as you can see, it's got fabulous descriptive writing. Um, it gives its characteristics, its natural enemies. And, and you can have a whole host of fantastic stories, fantastic story maps just from your own name. Um, I have a promise at the end, that's my blog. That's me, I'm on Twitter. There's ideas underscore factory. And that link, if you type it in, will give you uh, all the, the products I've shown you and all the links. Um, Thanks ever so much and uh, please get in touch uh, if you want to know more.